What is going on guys, welcome to a, another video on my channel. So today I'm going to raise a bit of a point that I feel like people have talked about on YouTube before but it seems to be flying under the radar at the moment so there's a lot of videos that are going on about string gauges and how to find the right string gauge for yourself, it's not necessarily what people are saying on forums, it's all about feel and what you prefer yourself. So, I mean, I've taken that on board. I've recently just changed back to a lighter string gauge from 11s to 10s, and it's made a hell of a lot of difference in my playing. But one thing that, that people aren't talking about is with that, your pick choice is also just as vital, in my opinion. So I've changed back to 10s and found that the picks I was previously using on the 11s are a little bit too harsh. So... I've got here the pick I used to use, so it's a Dunlop Altex Sharp. So it's quite a brittle sounding pick, if you tap it against something or drop it, it sounds a little bit like you're dropping a small piece of glass or something. Now what I used to use, sorry, just drop one on the floor, there you go there. Um, I used to use Dunlop Tooltex, I'm pretty sure everyone is familiar with these little blue and little green picks. You see so many guitarists using them. I went through the process of going through different materials from your celluloid to your old text to your tour text and what sort of difference they made. So the idea of this video, I'm going to play two guitars. I'm going to play my Telecaster copy. I uh, recently upgraded it with new Wilkinson pickups so kind of want to have a bit of a play about with that. As well as my Gibson Les Paul. So I'm going to do some clean stuff probably on the telly some heavier stuff on the Les Paul and just see if you can notice a difference with the way that I'm playing and reacting to the pick itself and the actual sound of the guitar because I find that sometimes these are a little bit too harsh and these Altexes tend to make my guitar playing a bit different I'm a bit more tacky with the pick and I don't I don't kind of pick my notes as well because I'm just sort of hitting it and hoping the guitar screams. Now in order to do this I am going to be playing using Guitar Rig 5. I know it probably won't show as much difference as the Valve Amps but the issue I have is I've just moved into a new house and I can't be turning that thing up and annoying the neighbours. But anyway, I hope you enjoy what's coming. We'll recap at the end and uh, yeah, see what you guys think. Okay, so an overview of the setup I'm using. So for the clean stuff, I'm going to be using this Telecaster straight into my PreSonus Audio Box i2, which is going into Reaper. Using Guitar Rig 5, the Twang Reverb setting. Uh, just a little patch I made on there. It's got a little bit of reverb on it, a bit of compression. And then out of there, it's going into my Sub-Zero in-ear monitors, monitors and straight into my ears so I can actually hear what I'm playing. But anyway, starting off with my old favourite pick. I'll put a picture up as I go through each pick.
still yet to listen back to the audio but I can tell you that it was definitely a feel difference there. The old Altexes I used to use felt too harsh and too brittle. They gave a lot of attack. Um, now if that's something you're after, if that's something you need in your sound, that's great. Bearing in mind you can probably EQ out all the little nuances and differences but mainly it's about feel and to me there's no give in that pick. I mean the pick itself is only a 1.14mm which if you went for something like an Altex or a celluloid equivalent there'd be a little bit of give and with these it's very very tough and very rigid. Now to me when I was playing yeah it felt good to hit and dig the strings but again I've changed down to 10s now and I felt like it was just a little bit too much. So with that in mind I think I'm going to be going back to the old Tortexes. So, that, in my opinion, was the best feeling pick out of that bunch. I only used a green, which is kind of a medium one. I'd probably use a blue um, if I was to carry on using them and play live with them. I've played a couple of gigs now using the blue ones on my 10s. So I think that's going to be the pick for me. Now the other picks that I had in there, you had a, a heavy celluloid, you had a really thin celluloid, which took a lot of work to, to play with. Now, I know a lot of people enjoy having a pick like that because it makes you think more about what you're playing but to me for my style of music my style of playing it was kind of you hit and don't get a lot out of it so there was a lot of effort put in to not a lot of outcome in my opinion and that's more feel wise and the other pick that I had in there was just a generic I bought a pack of branded picks for my band and it's just a generic plastic quite heavy and to me that was going more towards the Altex as in, within sound wise because it was just a generic plastic so whether or not that is um, an acrylic based plastic or something else um, I'm not entirely sure but to me that again was a bit too harsh and what I found when I used to play with those in the past was they used to bend quite easily so you'd do a gig and your pick would end up being almost banana shaped where you've been hitting the strings but anyway, I hope you enjoyed it, I hope it's given you something to think about. Maybe leave a comment in the description saying else that you'd like me to cover or just talk about. I know my playing isn't as brilliant as some other YouTubers, but um, yeah, this, this channel is a bit more fun to try and get me in front of a camera, try and build a bit of confidence up. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching, comment, rate, subscribe, and uh, yeah, as I said, comment anything you'd, you'd like me to cover. And now I'm repeating myself, this is good, isn't it? But anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one.